What's going on, everyone? My name is Brian Matias, and I'd like to welcome you to this multi-video series called The Case for Prime Lenses. So how did this even come about? Well, a few weeks ago, I ran a survey to my email list because I wanted to know what sort of challenges they were facing with photography these days it helps me kind of plan what kind of content I am going to create. Now, there were a bunch of submissions and there were a few themes, but there was one in particular that jumped out at me. It was by far the most dominant theme that had to do with people. Uh, they, they couldn't figure out ways to kind of bolster their creativity from home, meaning they see all these people on Instagram and on YouTube, you know, flying around and traipsing the globe uh, to all these locations. And it kind of affects them because, you know, they just want to be able to photograph around their own home. And it got me thinking because this has been a slow travel year for me as well. I haven't been uh, traveling nearly as much as I had been in previous years. And so I'm sympathetic to that. And I, the more I thought about it, the more uh, the idea just kind of like popped in my head and it was staring at me quite literally. And that has to do with your focal length. So for the most part, I would say most people live and die by their zoom lenses, meaning uh, they have lenses that they can change focal lengths by twisting the barrel. And that's great. This is not going to be a video of me telling you, you know what, zoom lenses are bad, uh, throw them out, sell them, and only buy primes. However, I will say that for me personally, uh, using prime lenses has been one of the best things that I've ever done to jumpstart my own creativity, especially when I am not able to travel a lot and I have to rely on uh, my immediate surroundings, which again, I think a lot of people watching uh, can relate to. Now, before we dive any further, you know, uh, maybe we should define what a prime lens is just in case uh, you're not sure. Well, it's pretty straightforward. A prime lens is simply a lens that has a fixed focal length. So uh, oftentimes when you speak with photographers or you're listening to them, they might refer to what's called the trinity or the holy trinity of lenses. And usually they're referring to a series of three lenses that covers just this massive uh, focal range. Usually it's a 16 to 35 millimeter lens and a 24 to 70 millimeter or maybe a 24 to 105 millimeter and then a 70 to 200 or maybe a 100 to 400 or 70 to 300. You get my point. There's an ultra wide lens, there's a standard zoom lens, and then there's a telephoto zoom lens. And in all three cases, you're able to cover the full focal length uh, from like 16 millimeters up to 200 or 400 millimeters. Now here's the thing. For the longest time, I had massive anxiety about uh, having to cover the full focal range when I travel. Like I need to be able to get uh, to 16 millimeters and all the way up to 400 just in case. Like I, I don't want a single gap. And that, it was very real. Uh, and the thing is that over time, what I realized was that uh, in a way for me personally, and I'm not saying that this is necessarily the case for you, but having those zoom lenses actually stifled my creativity. Uh, there is something to be said. I'm telling you this uh, from experience. There is something to be said about locking yourself into a single focal length. And uh, for me, my trinity, I've got my own kind of prime trinity of lenses. All three of them are Zeiss bodice lenses. I am a Zeiss lens ambassador and I'm very proud of that. Uh, and so for me, you know, my three, I have an ultra wide, kind of a standard and a long. On the wide end, I've got the bodice 18 millimeter F2.8. The standard is a 40 millimeter F2 and the long is a 135 millimeter F2.8. And obviously those are three very distinct focal lengths. Uh, you're not zooming. And here, here's the thing, listen, I know, I'm sure you've heard, you know, you, the, the phrase you can zoom with your feet uh, with Prime and yes, that is true, but there is something to be said about when, when I'm using, for example, 135 millimeter uh, Prime lens, my whole entire frame of view, every way, the way I kind of perceive uh, the scene in front of me changes and it brings about this kind of serendipitous creativity. And I know that kind of sounds, you know, all hippity dippity and woo woo and stuff, but it is true. I'm telling you it is true. There's something that when I am just stuck with one focal length, um, I find my creative juices flow better. And it's enough for me to want to kind of dive deep in this with you. And in this first video, I just kind of want to talk about that, that principle of why prime lenses should be something to consider. And then uh, in subsequent videos, I'm going to talk about the technical stuff as far as prime lenses actually being quite lighter 
in weight, smaller, and still retaining all the same kind of rugged uh, features that you would find on some of the more expensive zoom lenses. The thing is that uh, over the years, I found that when I use my prime lenses, I actually find it to be a creatively challenging and rewarding thing. Uh, there is something, yeah, by you kind of like getting committed to a certain focal length. And of course, you can switch your lens out if it's convenient. But for the most part, what I like to do is is really spend time with a particular lens. A lot of times I'll just take one lens with me, like the 40 millimeter or the 135, and it changes the way I approach a scene, especially if it's a location that I've been to many times. You know, if you've got your same old lenses, the human habit, human condition is you're just going to fall back to doing the things that you're familiar with. And that's understandable. That is after all the human condition. So this is why I strongly recommend, I'm not saying necessarily to go ahead and toss your zoom lenses and sell them or anything like that, but you can try renting a prime lens uh, and see if uh, there's something there that wasn't there before, you know, get the lens, get a, get a different focal length, try a 40 millimeter F2 lens. It's a fantastic, one of the most underrated lenses I've ever used. Uh, and go out and see if you can uh, just approach compositions completely differently. Now listen, you know, there are photographers who might, you know, tell you, you have to do it this way. If you don't do it this way, you're not a photographer. You know, you need to be able to cover all this uh, focal length and don't listen to that. Don't listen to anyone who who is comfortable giving you blanket statements. I'm saying experiment, especially if you find yourself stifled creatively you owe it to yourself to try something like a prime lens. You never know. It's one of those things that can just blow things up in your mind where you see things, you force yourself to see things at one focal length uh, with, and you're not giving up anything in terms of image sharpness or quality uh, or anything like that. All you're doing is you're restricting yourself. You're forcing yourself to really analyze your composition because you have this one focal length. You can't zoom in, you can't zoom out. Uh, and so it really helps you dial in. In fact, I recently was told stories about painters who uh, in the similar vein, uh, they wanted to challenge themselves creatively. So instead of going with a palette of 24 different watercolors or gouache paint or anything like that, they'd only allow themselves a handful, like five or six or even fewer, and then force themselves to work with those colors to combine them to create uh, the colors that they need. In a similar way, working with prime lenses can also give you that creative challenge. It's one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. And I think it's something that, you know, if you haven't considered, you might enjoy it. So with that, if you like this video, I'd love a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when uh, the next videos in this, uh, the case for prime series come out. And let me know what you think. Uh, am I talking crazy? Uh, did I make sense? You know, can you see yourself kind of going on a trip, for example, or just around your neighborhood with just one or two lenses? And not just one or two lenses, one or two lenses at a fixed focal length. Can you see yourself doing that? If so, what are your favorite uh, prime lenses? Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.